How do you overcome the common mistake of overloading your audience with too many words on a PowerPoint slide? The answer to that question will be found in your next daily dose of public speaking wisdom. With all of the information out there about how to use PowerPoint slides, I'm surprised that I'm doing this one. But unfortunately, I feel the need to because I still see way too many PowerPoint slides that are overloaded with verbiage. You may recall from a previous tip that the challenge we have as presenters is that when we load PowerPoint slides up with words, we're in essence losing the battle against our own presentation. Audiences are conditioned to looking at screens. When you put something up on there for them to read, they're going to read it. They will not hear what you're saying. And it's not possible for people to have two thoughts at the same time. More often than not, they're going to hear their internal voice reading to themselves more than they're going to hear the words you're saying. Stop competing with your own presentation. Here's a perfect example. This is a technique that we use called systematic desensitization. This is a way to help people manage their anxiety and stress over speaking. The typical presenter introduces this kind of idea like this. They write the definition up on the screen, and sometimes they'll even read it, along with the audience. Systematic desensitization, a type of behavior therapy used to help people effectively overcome phobias and other anxiety disorders. Based on classical conditioning, it shares the same elements of cognitive behavioral therapy and applied behavior analysis. It incorporates counter-conditioning principles such as meditation and breathing. Here's the scary part. I've shortened that definition from what I picked up on Wikipedia. It's actually twice as long. What are the problems with a slide like this? Well, number one I've already addressed is that people are going to read while you're speaking. Secondly, this is written in scientific or medical language. Third, I don't really know what it means. Our jobs as presenters is to translate definitions like this into everyday language that people will understand. If they understand it, they're much more likely to use it. Here's the layman's term for systematic desensitization. Stand up and speak over and over and over. That's it. That's how you can better manage your anxiety about speaking. Stand up and do it and do it again and keep doing it until you are able to manage those nerves. There's no shortcut to this. If you were sitting in an audience hearing me say that, wouldn't you appreciate it more if I just simplified the explanation and said, here's the bottom line, you got to do it, rather than some esoteric scientific definition that won't mean anything to you and you're not going to do it. That's the lesson for today. Don't overwhelm your audience with a bunch of terminology and jargon and certainly do not put it on a slide where they have to read it because they're not going to listen to you. Simplify it, make it to where it's actionable, put a few words on the slide, give them your experience, and there's a much better chance that they'll take action.